Alrighty, folks, welcome back to the Taylor Burks or to the show series here. It will be 23 PS5, episode 583. Is it 582? I'm not sure. Either way, we got a win against the Yankees in the last one. Didn't quite get the complete game shut. I got pulled uh, for one out. Um, but it's fine. We face the Marlins today. They are 64 and 63. They're three and a half games behind us in the division. Um, be a nice win uh, today if we could get it. We get the win here with Bruno Santana. Take a 2 nothing lead on the series. Corey Griffin drives in three all in the first. And then we win 8-3. to three. There we go. Okay, so the Nationals win a couple games here and sweep the Yankees. So Mets are on fire or on a winning streak, so they're only two games back on us. What else can we do here? This episode, this time against the Marlins. A win. We are 11 above 500. This team is just feeling good winning games. Now, still two above the Mets. Now, Walter Four versus Andrew Painter. Not our best matchup, and we're going to lose 5 nothing. All right. Taylor's going to face Orlando Hickey and the Miami Marlins. We cannot get the Mets to lose a game. Right now, they've won four in a row. All right, and Dodgers have won eight in a row. So, Mets are... Okay, let's see. Okay. Interesting spots in the playoffs. The answer is we just need to keep winning. Adam Turner returns for the Marlins. Much needed for them as he's going to lead them off. Here we go. Against the 65 and 65 Miami Marlins. to get started here and on the hill the lefty Orlando we go to the bottom of the first here's the center fielder the first inning runs this time for the Nats we are on the road again a former all-star he features a two-seam fastball a change Turner turns to the lineup for the Marlins and occasionally uses the cutter he's trying to give him that playoff push Marlins aren't a bad team. Quite average Kicks this year, actually. Now one ball miss. Two ball, two They've got some guys like Andrew Painter. Yeah, I don't know if Painter's still high overall. That was a disgusting changeup. One down. Right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher, it's other guys that have to think about it from your infielders have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. I got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So, oh, two, I think one down. Just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base. Next pitch, yep, just one out. Out. Our ERA is down to 1.08. One of the minor goals for us is to get below one. That's going to help out a little bit more. Two down. It's going to require two or three more shutouts, though. you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base paths, and all of a sudden you're dealing with the number three hitter, any distraction can cause you to serve up a cookie, and instead of it being a solo shot, it's a two or three run homer. Next offering is in for so a strike. One two quickly. Looking to strike out the side. Good Not there. Right there. Riding to the play. Did not go. It, tried to hold up. Now a look to first, and he held back, according to Larry Bullard. So three two. He took it. Oh, no, he went. Thank you. We do strike out the side into the first. So, Painter, who I was just talking about, has been in the league for a while. He's an 85, 180, and 151. 2,700, 2,792 on the Ks, 3.91 ERA. Not quite the Hall of Fame level, but like really 
not that far. Here's the left fielder, Neville Gunn. He's got a chance at 3,000 strikeouts on his career. Depending on where he ends up next year. Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball. It may be a 200 win career. Just not able to square it up. Gets a piece and it stays Let's see. 200 wins is nothing to scoff at. That oh, one that just missed off the outside edge. <coughs> one, two. Hey, come on now. Base hit for Neville. So a man on base to start the inning. <laughs> now here's the Marlins DH, Neil Weinstein. Seems to have a lot of lefties. It's a strike, bro. That's a strike. He pumps it a strike. That catches the zone for a strike. One, two. One and two. Lifted in the air, right center field. Molina, as he Adrian is going to chase it down. Thank the Lord. Down for the out. And there's one down. And up next for Miami, Ricky Mayo. That one's in there, 0 and 1. 0 1 the count. Love a double play. And there's the strike. Mayo's just he taking though. I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there in the mound. The one, two. And a foul ball. He stays alive. So one, two. Gun, the runner at first with one gone in the end. We have three strikeouts. Ground there we go. Right side could be two. Leonard. I'll Over hold off second. on that thought. And that's two. Into the second. Four, six, three. Beautiful. We score one. Bellinger drives him in. Back one nothing. Back here in Miami at the play. Pablo Rosas. He swings and fouls one off. Worm burner into the smoked base hit. A swing like that can help you playing shortstop today is Juan Cordero. Never really made any deadline moves that were notable. I'll have to check them later. But I think we're almost at the end of August at this point. I kind of forgot. At least we're in the middle of, the aug of August. Come on, man. It's a strike. Swing Good pitch, one down. That's a strikeout. He swung over top of the curveball. <laughs> right fielder, Jose Ojeda. That one's in there. One, one. Oh, and one. To third might be two. That's a five, five four. It's a fielder's choice. An attempted three double play, but no. Here's Turner now. He's not quite going to get there. He goes. It's a strike. He's there. Throw off line just a little bit too high and towards the third base side. Comes up empty on the swing. 0 2 now. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with two. his speed. A base hit. It's probably and gonna Turner's going to pop it out. So really have to execute on Playable that. for Perez, and we are out of the third. And that ends the inning. Three. Do not score. Micah Riggs, I think his name is. 74 overall. We've got a couple new guys. Who knows where we get them from? I don't really see any new pitching. Yeah, no. Fourth, and now here is Roger Navarro. And a strike. That was just paint on the first pitch fastball. That 
next offering is in for a strike. Love how vocal the umpire is today. Who knows? We might have sold no at the deadline. In the hitter's mind, catcher's Change mind, up or slider got him one down. As to the conviction in the call. Well, that's the money Knowing how this team is, or this game is, not this team. From the same side thrower as the hitter, I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult. Can't be mad at the trades we made with this team, though, because we did win the World Series, you know? Trading the young first baseman, who's clearly going to have a good bat in the future for Winston Leonard, the 30-plus-year-old second baseman. Neville that wasn't even a full starter because we already had Tamar Johnson. That pitch gets the Proved to be a great Strike idea. And since one of our better hitters now, Tamar's older. And that young first baseman wouldn't have got the opportunity to play last year. That's going to be a hit for Neville Green. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Really good swing right there. He got a pitch that he knew he could handle. Run around the move. Pitch misses inside. Another terrible throw. I know it may have made the difference right there. It's kind of hard to say, though. Parada misses two throws. Left-handed hitter in the box. That hitter does not have to move at all to help you out. He just got under the throw, and it took off on him a little bit. Swing and a pop-up. Right, he's going to catch this one. Over in the right hand batter's box into the fourth. And we score two. Buddy Thompson. Is it Buddy Thompson? Bobby Thompson, sorry. Then we get one more. Four nothing. In the air, right field. I got it. I got it. One down. The grab one down. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Rosa stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. The next offering is in for a strike. And the right two to Pablo Rosas. Got him Goodbye. Swinging for the strikeout. Slider got him for a strike three. Wow, just great the bite to that slider. Eight. Broke hard out of the zone, and he just couldn't hold up the swing. You know, as a hitter, that pitch is really hard to take, and there's just not much you can do with it. You know that, but you don't want to get rung out by the umpire. Sexton stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Strike two. Swing and a miss. And the fifth. And he's down on Great inning for Taylor. Just 12 more outs needed. Bottom of the sixth like 286 on the career on the season counter for Kays. Oh no, did I forget the uh, big milestone? No, I didn't. 4,982 before going into today. We're only at seven today. Next episode, be on the lookout for 5,000 career strikeouts. One, two. All right, come on now. Cut on and miss, struck him out. One down. He had him out in front, which isn't easy to do against a hitter like this, known for using the entire field. Just couldn't sit back nope. long enough on that one. Turner up Ball to one, the plate no for the play. third time as he looks down low. Most likely going to be a Hall of Famer. Dude has had such a good career. For a strike, and it's one and one. The offense needs to start showing some fight against Still this. Still playing good ball, not quite to the level he used to. Have to push back at some point and make him work a little bit harder. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the AB going. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't One look at two. it. Change up is fouled off. And Reason with a backdoor slider. Keeps oh, the that pitch going not going to swing a miss right now from Adam. The one, two. And there's a ball. 
This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers. Got out there. You the can back tell they foot get frustrated slider. with how long it takes to put him away. So up next, you know. Roger Navarro. Got him with the back foot slider, I should say. Little chopper rolls foul. Navarro goes six feet five inches, 30 years old now. And he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 325 in his last 10 games. Ooh. Here comes a pitch. That one back up the middle, and it gets through. That's it. So Turner has been hurt a good bit of this year. He's chasing 3,000 career hits as well. Or a milestone, I should say. 400 home runs in his career. Recently gotten career OPS at 931. He's stolen 495 bags in his career. He's got a career war of 136.7. I don't see a way this guy isn't a Hall of Famer at this point. Full transparency. Well, no base hits in the series for him so far, and it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things and makes the slope even longer. Never seemed to help. Never helped me. Just talking about how he hasn't got a hit in the season or in the series. Santiago oh, is on the board. And now you have two for two Neville Gunn with a couple people on. That one finds the corner. Going one. He's sitting on 99 career homers. We'll see if this is the moment to knock He's three for three. He's down for a base hit. The throw in. And he's out. He's gone. Chris got for Perez. Come on. So we have three straight hits. But Christopher Perez comes up firing. Oh, no, that's Corey Griffin. Nice to have you in right, Corey. With the cannon he has. Keeps the Marlins off the scoreboard. Score one more, score another one. Bobby Thompson has driven in and another one. I haven't played with Bobby Thompson much this year, but you know, if you're going to drive in three runs for me, I'll take it. And a pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Yeah, Corey out and right's nice. 91 arm strength. How many people throwing a guy out there? And now one and two. Huh. Fights that one away, still one and two. That's a one two to Neil Weinstein. That's down and in. Two two to Neil Weinstein. It's a three two to Neil Weinstein. Hey, I'm just checking out. One down. Pitch count's not low, though. Well, he showed a lot of conviction with the fastball there. Not just because of the velocity, but also the ability to command it on the inside part of the plate. The last thing you want to do with two strikes is just get too far in there, and it gets away and hits the batter. So when I see a two-strike fastball bunch up a guy like that, it tells me there's a lot of confidence in that pitch. Next one misses. Ball one. I don't think we're going to be able to go the full distance today, boys. Swing and a That's going to help us out a little bit. Center. Two down. Molina pulls it down, and there's two gone. Now it's the Marlins catcher, Pablo Rosas. It's and first off, foul. Ring is fouled off. The pitch. And there's a foul ball. O2 to Rosas. He swung through it into the seventh. Nice. And he's down on strikes. Welcome back. On to the bottom of the eighth. And at the plate for Miami, Craig Sexton. Needing six outs, up six, nothing. And it's 0 1. Plays at 1 now. Taylor trying to get win number 20. Swings through that. It's so impressive right here. the velo is still there, even this deep into the outing. Got him looking. One down. That's a strikeout. 
Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Left-hand batter waits. Gets under and pops it up. Parada ball, ball, settles ball. under this one. He makes Parada's the got it. Two down. two down. Back to the top of the lineup, and now Adam Turner. And first offering is fouled off. Started to swing, held up. Now just about to hit that century mark, 100 hey, pitches first, for this game. One on one, and there is pitch 100. That's the ball. Now two balls and a strike. Two one. Find the zone here. And or not. Adam's going to swing a low pitch, and, and that'll end the eighth. That Beautiful. This one pretty three. You're three. Heading into the ninth. Bottom nine. Now it's the shortstop, Roger Navarro. Trying to wrap this thing up. Strike There's a strike. He's been so sharp today, even over 100 pitches thrown. His skipper is leaving him in there to finish the job. Popped the up air, by Navarro. Riggs. Playable for Riggs, and it'll be one down. On that. And there's one away. Three Just better. Well, Albert Lentigua steps of up. Closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way. With I had a Lentigua in the Alex Parker the series that was a relief pitcher that we had on the Brewers for a lot of years. I always called him Lentiagua. I don't know why. I called him Lentiagua yeah, for probably five or six seasons. And then I was like, oh my gosh, it's Lantigua. I saw it on some other Lantigua, actually, until I kind of put it together that we wouldn't have a Lantigua. <laughs> it was always Lantigua. Anyways, weird sidebar. Two down. Nope, not yet. One down, base is empty. Foul ball still, a one and two count. And the pitch. Hey, he swung at a slider. Thank you. Two down. That's out number two. Such a challenge when a guy's got great velocity. He's throwing a slider over 90 miles per hour. You want to be ready to hit that fastball, but that late break just eats you up every time. It is very playable. Caught. Nationals win. And the Nationals get a shutout on the mound. Six nothing. Nine innings, six hits, no walks, none earned. And 13 Ks for Taylor. Oh, Nationals win again. Four and one episode, but the Mets are right on our tail. We have to continue to win if we want to hold on to our playoff spot. They've won five in a row. Yeah, we're going to have to keep winning because the wild card is extremely close as well. Yeah, all right, well. Go Nationals. We face the Marlins again in the next one, next time at home. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. That's it for me. And that's Taylor Brooks, episode 583 in the books.